Hi, my name is Richard Capone. I'm the CEO and co-founder of Let's Go Learn. And today I want to provide you with a 10,000 foot overview of Let's Go Learn. So we are a data-driven personalized learning company and we focus in the areas of reading and math and we provide assessment and instruction. So what does this mean? First of all, our approach is really to support the school or district. And the reason why we do this is because it's not just about providing software or technology. It's about making sure that it's implemented with fidelity. And that means supporting the school or district's initiative. It may be RTI, it may be uh, disproportionality, it may be supporting EL students, or whatever that is, we are going to provide that initiative and make sure that we can support and help implement it. The second piece is that we support all stakeholders. If you have data that has scores such as 576 or 724 or 49 percent, that really doesn't mean as much to everyone. So we provide grade level scores in all of our assessments that everyone can understand, whether you're a parent, a student, a teacher, an administrator. And so that's really important because the data needs to be vertically scaled as well as understandable. And finally, what we try to do is really support personalized learning at the teacher level because teachers already have so much to do. So we're trying to make personalization easier for them. So our platform really can be summed up in this graph here. So we, we do diagnostic assessment on one level, which is in reading and math. We find the students zone of proximal development. We provide data that's actionable. I mentioned that it is in grade level scores. It's vertically scaled. Um, it's tied to specific skills and concepts. That data in turn drives and supports a teacher as well as automated instruction. And then of course we provide uh, progress monitoring as well. Now all of this also of course is, is overlaid with professional development. Whether it is teacher level professional development or whether it is a site based professional development to support principals as well as administrators. Now in action, the way we do this is that we focus on the zone of proximal development. That's where students can work independently. So you need to identify that whether the student is in general ed, in an intervention, or whether they're in special education with an IEP. Now the way we do this is we use a diagnostic model of assessment. A standards model of assessment says you're in fifth grade, I'm gonna test you in fifth grade items, maybe I'll go down to fourth grade. But for us, it's about the student. A diagnostic model says, okay, let's go up and down. In the case of mathematics, as you see here, we break mathematics into 44 subtests. And those 44 subtests are each, we find the instructional point of the student regardless of their grade level. And this drives granular, actionable data, right? So that way the teacher knows exactly what to do, students know what to do, parents, everyone understands it. In the case of reading, there's not as many subtests. There's a uh, six slash seven. And again, we're breaking it down. It's not just a reading score. It's how do they do decoding, high frequency words, uh, phonic, word recognition, comprehension, vocabulary. All of these, again, we find the student's instructional point within those areas. And this is really key. This diagnostic model, of course, is drives personalized learning. Now, personalized learning could be two things. It could be the teacher personalizing learning for the students, or it could be automated personalized learning, and we have both. So with our data, then we could uh, place students, we generate a personalized course, it's called LGL Math Edge or LGL ELA Edge, and each student gets their own personalized course, or in the case of special education, it's called Specially Designed Instruction. Teachers can also assign lessons as well, so if they need to support something they're trying to work, and certain students need some uh, scaffolding before they can do the group lesson, they can assign lessons as well. So this whole model works on assessment, assigning of, of teacher-directed lessons, as well as automated lessons. And then of course, we have real-time progress monitoring. So not just full assessments, but we also can break any of our assessments out into individual subtests or individual skills concept quizzes. All of this data, flows into the same vertically scaled data set so that you have real-time progress monitoring without actually having to do a lot of work. To, to summarize things, in today's new educational norm, we are tying everything together with our platform. Whether students are remote, whether they're in class, whether they're in tier one, two, or three, whether you need powerful data to write IAPs, whether you need powerful data to do progress monitoring, we have the data and the platform that can help you. 
I would encourage you to watch some of the product tours, which will actually show you how the interface works and how we support teachers, as well as explore other parts of our site. Thank you very much.